Welcome to Colors, Swatches and the Swatch Libraries. It's going to be awesome. I will show you how to find out about colors and how to color your artworks according to certain themes. We're going to keep it simple and easy. So let's take our butterfly here. This is the best example. It has a lot of colors. You can come to File, Open, and please select Butterfly Step 2, the last one. First of all, which color mode is this document? In the beginning of the course, I was totally not careful about the color mode. We went to the letter P set to open a new document and we created a CMYK document. Now we know better from the previous lecture. Let's go and change our document to RGB. Now we can work with RGB because our butterfly is not going to be printed. We're just going to see it on the screen. How did we use to work with colors? selected a shape for example went to the fill if it is for the fill or the stroke clicked on the color and here we had two options the swatches over here there are a definite number of colors with some shadings and stories like this and the mixer so usually how would you use the mixer here you can come over start choosing a color okay this is pretty easy to tell you the truth the way i prefer to use it is to select a color from here i selected the orange Click on the orange and go to the mixer now, okay? In the mixer here, I can try to change the colors the way I would like, okay? Coming over here to select a color, you are really, you know, very uncertain what's going to be selected. It's a bit random. But this is the way to select colors. That is better than that. Let me undo this twice, I think. Three times, four times, five times, six times. How many colors I changed? Let's go to window. And one important window is the swatches. I'm going to click to open it. Now it can open anywhere. Let's put it on this side here on the left. One nice thing that you can do if you want to recolor, for example, this butterfly is to come over to the swatches here and click and drag. Let's make this one this green. This is darker green. You see, this is, you know, some darker green. You can select a color and choose the color from here. Okay, what a coincidence that I chose the same color. So actually, you can click and drag and drop the colors here. It will help you a lot in recoloring your artwork. But now, you notice over here, I have a kind of folder and another one here. How do they appear? Well, if you come to this little button here, it looks like books standing up. It is the Swatch Libraries menu. If you click on it, you have all kinds of colors put together to make your job a bit easier. For example, we're working here in nature. I can come to nature. I have beach, flowers, foliage, something like this. Let's take this butterfly, for example, to landscape. I'll make this one bigger by clicking under here and stretching it out. These are the combination of colors or colors put together, swatch colors, of course, that can help me, for example, to work on my butterfly. I could simply decide I want to use this folder over here. Notice what happened. As soon as I clicked on the folder, it was put in my swatch library. So now it is under the fill here. If I come to swatches, you notice just over here. I can select it from anywhere. In fact, notice how it's selected in the same way and delete it. Let's say we want to work on the last one here. These are colors that we want to give to our butterfly can click the first one and just drop it. Okay, click the second one and drop it. Click on this one and drop it. So I'm very happy with these colors and I want to continue. It would be quite interesting if I could move this one up here and start working from here and it's inside my field. As you can see, very practical. Now, I will delete this one because we want to put others and it says delete the swatch selection. Yes, remove it. Come to the swatch library. You can come from over here. Let's go for kid stuff, for example. In the kid stuff, I like this one very much, by the way. I'm going to put it up here. And notice it's not very different from this, but it's better organized. So let's say here I want to work on the kid stuff, the click and drag, click and drag, something like this. And it's awesome. Now, let me turn your attention to something a bit special. I will come over to the Swatch Library menu. It's from here or here is all the same. And we go to Pattern. And I'm going to take a decorative one. Now, let's take the basic ones and the dots. 
not here, it's not a folder, it's by color. Now, I can simply select, click on it and drag it to my butterfly. It's gonna look good somehow. And these are Python colors. But notice, this is a fill. This is not like a brush or something. And unfortunately, if you stretch, it's gonna stretch with the shape itself. So you need always to stretch somehow proportionally. These are the patterns. You can come over and play with them. They are very nice. You can use them. And the other one, for example, that is quite useful is the skin tones. Here they are. Now, in skin tones, it's always difficult to choose the skin tone. But let's say you're working on a graphic and you want this skin tone. Just click on it. It comes over here and you can start changing your artwork. This was a brief introduction to swatches and the swatch libraries. It will help you a lot as a beginner to recolor your artworks or have a certain collection of colors that you can work with. Notice this one is called Rainbow. This one is called Brights. You can find it. This one is called Skin Tone 7. So you have the names and you can go back and maybe use them. This was about swatches and I hope you're going to come and use them and do some awesome artwork.